the if and statement is the opposite of the if or statement. We can have multiple conditions up to 30, but they all have to be true in order to return the value of true. So if we have 30 conditions and only one of those is false, that means it returns the value of false. Because each one, this one and this one and this one, have to be true for the whole thing to be true. Let's see this in action. So equals if and logical one, which is my condition one, and let's just do our numbers again. So one equals one, comma, two equals two, comma, three does not equal three. Close parenthesis because I'm done with my conditions, comma, value of true, let's do 10, value of false, zero. And I get a value of zero because this is true and this is true, but this is false, which means all of it is false. So it returns the value of false. If we change the does not equal to an equal, then all three conditions are true, which means it returns the value of true. Same thing for using variables. Equals if and width greater less than or equal to height, comma, height less than or equal to depth. And if that's all true, return a value of zero. If one of those is false, return a value of zero. If it's all true, return a value of 10. If it's false, return a value of zero. And I get a value of 10 because width is less than or equal to height, and height is less than or equal to depth. So it returns that value of 10. If we change our value of height to 16, we then get a value of 0 because our first condition is false. Just like before in all the other if statements, we don't have to return numerical values. We can return text, or we can even return another variable value. 